When we are joined now by the highest ranking uniformed officer in the New York City Police Department, Chief of Department Terrence Monahan. Chief, good morning to you. Uh, your moment with demonstrators on Monday went viral. You knelt with them in a park, hugging people in the crowd and calling for an end to the violence. And Chief, um, with that picture in mind, I have to ask you about last night. It seemed to be a much quieter night. You had an earlier curfew. Is that what made the difference? Yeah, the earlier curfew really helped our cops uh, take out of the neighborhoods people that didn't belong there. You know, uh, 8 o'clock helped a lot. A lot of peaceful protesters, protesters that were still protesting past 8, peacefully, uh, we allowed to continue. But when a group of uh, people who were looking to cause mayhem broke off, we were able to take care of them very quickly. The governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, as you know, yesterday lashed out at the police response, saying police essentially did not do their job on Monday night when there was widespread looting. He even talked about displacing the mayor and bringing in the National Guard. Is that necessary in your mind? Absolutely not. I stated this yesterday that uh, you'd have to come out and see what these men and women are doing. Don't ever call them ineffective as a matter of fact, last night his office called and apologized uh, to me. I know he called the commissioner directly to apologize that that's not what he meant, that he did not mean uh, to put down the police officers. I'd hope he would come out publicly and say that again today during his press conferences, because the men and women of this agency have done a remarkable job in probably unprecedented times, and I couldn't be prouder of the work the men and women of this agency have done. We've seen massive protests. Many, probably most, are peaceful protests, but there is that dangerous element. Those who want to break into stores, commit violence, uh, make attacks toward the police and vice versa. Have you been able to figure out what that element consists of? Some have said maybe it's outside agitators coming in. What's your best information on that? From what we've seen, and I've been out there personally, there are groups within, uh, within these large protests that are looking for nothing for trouble. We've made a lot of arrests from people outside the New York area. Uh, we've gotten intel from people that various different groups of anarchists have been out trying to push their agenda out there to hijack the movement, to cause nothing but chaos and, and mayhem and destruction in the city, and just to attack police officers. That's not what this is about. Uh, this is about people protesting something that they found unjustified, that was unjustified in Minnesota, to get their voice out. But this is not and should never have been an attack on police officers. There's not a police officer in this country that doesn't condemn what happened in Minnesota. And we don't need to be targeted throughout uh, this country because of the actions of someone in Minnesota. Hmm. And to that larger issue, I mean, you have you just did denounce what happened in Minnesota. You knelt with protesters. You have said the NYPD is not a racist organization. This has been a time when a lot of eyes have been opened. A lot of people are reflecting. And what the protesters seem to be saying is there are incidents that are awful that happen in broad daylight, what happened in Minneapolis. And then there's this quieter, systemic racism that exists, the way that certain communities, the black community, is policed and watched. What do you say about that? What have you learned through this experience? Through this is that, listen, we have to look at one another as human. You know, we all have grown up differently. You know, I can't look through the eyes and the lens of a male, an African-American male who grew up. He can't look through our, my lens of how I've grown up through my life. But together, we're all human. I am much more than just a blue uniform. He's much more than just a member of the community. We have to be able to get along on a one-to-one -one basis. And I see that every day in this agency. I see that, how our cops interact with the people in their communities, how they get along, how we work together. Neighborhood police, and we started here in 2014, and that was the whole concept of it. The idea that the cops in the community were one, we're all human and that together we move forward against those who want to cause crime and mess up our society. Well, that's a, a, such important words, and I hope that everyone is taking them to heart. NYPD Chief of Department Terrence Monaghan, I know it was a long night for you, sir. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Savannah.